it's Michael here and we're up to lesson 5 in Art Center Professional Car Design Advanced and let's have a look at my research for the week. So the idea of the project I wanted to work on for this half of the term was the idea of an escape pod that would allow someone or some friends or someone who lived in the city to be able to switch off, go offline and totally desensitize themselves from the busyness of the city. And so I thought, what better vehicle to get you there than the nothing other than the legendary Turtle Land Cruiser. So in short, it's pretty well known around the world and since 1951 it was used as a military vehicle and it has a massive reputation for reliability, uh, off-road capability and durability so nothing can kill this thing so wherever you need to go this thing will do it and as such it's used by the UN aid organizations and military and nonetheless adventurers everywhere so this is if you need to go somewhere this is a car to do it. In looking at Toyota's lineup you've got the soft rotors which are more kind of geared towards road use and city use and that's kind of what occupies the more affordable end of the market. Whereas when you want to go for something a bit more hardcore and utility, you've either got to go for this like older version, which is still around now, 70 series Land Cruiser, which is pretty hardcore, it's pretty pared back. And then you've got the most recent Land Cruiser, which isn't sold in the US, it's called the 300. And that is at the higher end of the scale and it's kind of it kind of sits in the lux luxury end of the kind of performance um, spectrum and so you've got this massive gap on the left here for something that's affordable and utilitarian and that's kind of where I want to take the essence of what the Land Cruiser is and make it affordable for the target audience which we'll cover shortly and so there's one car that occupies the segment, it's kind of got the whole segment to its own and it's going gangbusters, selling like crazy, and that's the Suzuki Jimny because it's capable, it's affordable and it's compact and it can go anywhere, it's small, it's got great ground clearance, it can navigate any challenging terrain and tight spaces. It's like a, it's a true off-roader, it's not these soft SUV types. And so because of that, um, it's hugely popular and it's affordable and it's compact so yeah it's it's very accessible in terms of people being able to get into this car and use it so this is why it's had the market to itself and obviously competitors are scrambling to make something great what other what better make to tackle this challenge than the Land Cruiser the audience I'm looking at is someone who's typically between like 25 and 35 who maybe is an architect or a musician or works in healthcare and they live in the city and they want to get out of town and so they like stuff like nature, camping, hiking, climbing and generally just leaving the city with friends and so their approach is very pared back, it's simple, they don't need all the, all the luxuries, no frills, they're kind of eco-conscious so they're not trying to be too heavy on the environment. Willing to rough it means that they're willing to forego luxury. So my inspiration is lightweight and durable and multifunctional. So something can, that can do a lot of things and is kind of gentle on the environment and can serve a lot of different purposes. So I'm looking at stuff like um, Nike ACG in terms of their kind of all conditions approach and aesthetic. Um, I think it's pretty interesting and multifunction like this old Mitsubishi with the popped up tent and this Leatherman or like a Swiss Army knife. So just something that can do everything and is compact and lightweight. Well, I think this is gonna leave a lot of room for something interesting to happen. And considering the heritage of the vehicle, just a big challenge, I think there should be some pretty interesting outcomes. I'm looking forward to ideating and really crashing it and seeing what comes out. Alright, see you next week.